Hi everyone, it's Fitz with your daily delivery. Following Saturday's 41 to nothing victory over Houston, ouch, at Bill Snyder Family Stadium. I've got so many thoughts on this game. We had the post-game podcast, Cole Carmody and I wrapped it up, got into the Big 12, talked about a lot of things. But what topic do I feel like needs more attention? That's today's DD. Your reminder, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Continue to grow. We're trying to get to 11K now. That's the next goal. And after that, yeah, you're right. It'll be 12K. Hey, and also hit the thumbs up. You leave those comments. Turn on the notifications. The Insiders goes live on Monday at 1.30 with another wrap-up of a great performance. K-State has won back-to-back -back home games by 82-3. to three. Yeah, 82-3 80, to three in the last two games. Uh, but uh, my friend David Smale, of course, I led the post-game walk and talk of this, came up with this stat. Since falling behind Texas Tech 21-17, they have outscored their opponents 103-3. to That's pretty good. And one of those touchdowns was scored by Seth Porter. Seth Porter, one of the captains on this team, one of the leaders on this team, one of the guys that came back for his super senior season, you know, the COVID leftovers, kind of that last full batch of guys that had that bonus year from that 2000 season he came back for one more crack at it not because he thought he'd be a superstar receiver but he just wanted to play some more k-state football and thought he could help this team and that's what seth porter's always been about what can i do to help this team that's why he's a captain he is one of the best special teams players at kansas state and to say that means he's in very lofty company because those guys that have excelled in special teams have always been important to K-State football. But he's a receiver. That's his actual position, a wide receiver. And even though he's in his sixth year of eligibility, he came into this game with Houston with three career catches. Folks, he's had a carry. He's had seven kickoff returns, but only three catches of the football in his entire career. And one was earlier this season. So he has paid his dues beyond paying your dues. He has just been so selfless that seeing him score his first career touchdown was just a huge thing in the K-State locker room. Gene Taylor was caught on camera giving him a big hug as the K-State AD knew that uh, Seth Porter had done something he deserved. They're roughly the same age. Let's keep that in mind. Seth is a six-year senior. He gets his first touchdown, a seven-yard pass from Avery Johnson. And I'm reusing this because I love this. Cole Carmody pointed out when Seth Porter arrived at Kansas State, Avery Johnson was in the eighth grade. That's how old Seth Porter is. Seth Porter knows what it was like around Manhattan before they invented dirt. I'm not saying he's old. I'm, I'm, there's a bar named Porter's in Aggieville. That eh, might be for my friend Billy, but it might be because Seth was here when it was Kansas State Agricultural College. Okay, I'm just making fun of Seth now, and I wanted to make a nice video about it. But he's so old. Congratulations, Seth Porter. Well-deserved. You keep contributing. You've been a big part of the resurgence in special teams so far this season. You got what you deserve. Touchdown, Seth Porter.